Python, dangerous snake or cool programming language? Today we'll talk about the latter. In this video, I'll show you how to access the USPS APIs using Python. So, you want to use the USPS address validation API system, hmm? Get used to disappointment. But if you're dead set on using it, just stay tuned because we will show you how to do that. However, if you want an easier, simpler tool to validate USPS and international addresses, check out Smart Streets. They are the best in the address validation business. And up yonder is their video for implementing their Python SDK. First, I need to explain how the USPS web APIs work. The US Postal Service provides three API services, address standardization, which validates an address and then returns the accepted standardized version of that address along with some other helpful metadata. Zip code lookup, which is a simplified version of the address standardization tool, but it returns the zip code and zip plus four for a given address. And the city state lookup, which returns the city and state associated with the specified zip code. Each of these APIs will accept up to five requests at a time. Warning! If you use the USPS API, you must use it to send a letter or put a package into the mail. If not, then you're in violation of the USPS Terms of Service. That means you could be subject to significant fines if you're caught. All the documentation on these tools, as well as some other helpful links, will be listed in the video description below. To start, we need to register for a user ID, which is required for all USPS APIs. All you need to do is pop on over to registration.shippingapis.com, fill out the form, submit it, and then you'll receive your user ID. All three APIs are similar to call, with just a few minor differences in the request and response data. In this video, we're just going over the address standardization API. Before we get started, I need to point out that this sample uses the Python 3 library URL lib. If you only use Python 2, this sample will be close, but you'll need to make some changes in the URL lib calls. <sighs> Time to caress the old keyboard. We'll start with an empty Python file. First, the import statements. Then we will build the request XML. Yeah, I know, it's a bummer. But all USPS APIs require XML. With the USPS APIs, you can specify up to five addresses in the request. But for this example, we'll only request a single address. Just take note that in the user ID attribute, we will place the user ID we received when we registered with the USPS. Next, we'll prepare the URL complete with the XML document on the query string. Yep, another odd requirement from the USPS APIs. Finally, we'll print out the URL on the console so you can see what it looks like. We're gonna make the API call and then check for errors. Then, if all went well, we can get the content of the response and print it out for all your troubleshooting pleasure. Finally, we parse the XML results and print them on the console. Oh, and don't forget to paste in that user ID we got from USPS. Now let's see what it looks like when we run it. And that's all there is to it. You can now access the USPS Address Standardization API using Python. If, after using the USPS APIs, you decide you've endured enough XML, Serenity now! You really should try the Smarty Streets API for your USPS and international address validation. All of the Smarty Streets APIs are fully documented, fully supported, and much, much easier to use. And the data you get back comes in a scrumptious JSON format. Best of all, you can try Smarty Streets for free. Just click the link in the description, sign up for an account, no credit card required, and you'll get 250 lookups every single month for free. And that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you can be notified when we produce other helpful content.